something very exciting to show you today and this is our 2022 on a 72 plate so an October registered Volkswagen Transporter this is the T6.1 so the new facelifted front end this is the T32 I mean it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight with a 2 litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine producing 150 brake horsepower in this particular van and that is accompanied with a seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. This is the long wheelbase Highline combi van, uh, but clearly not standard. So what we're gonna do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Highline combi of this age. I'll talk you through the factory extras, which this vehicle benefits from, uh, but also then the fantastic styling kit inside and outside, uh, which, uh, as I say, has been added to this van to really, really enhance it. Uh, and as I say, just, absolutely special really i think this is about as good as it gets and maybe by the end of the video you will agree with me as well but starting here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate so glazed meaning it's got a window and a tailgate of course is one door which comes up like so this particular tailgate is power latching so that's the first factory optional extra to speak of uh, power latching basically is soft closure so when the when the uh, door shuts it you haven't got to slam it it'll just soft close into position kind of like how uh, maybe your kitchen drawers work in the house looking then at the rear of the vehicle then now the first thing to talk about here which has been added and that is the Leighton Vans LVR full rear bumper so this is not just uh, a little stick on uh, you know rear diffuser or anything like that this is a full rear bumper replacement so that is made up of a much more uh, you can see the lines are more aggressive lines and flaring here at the bottom of the rear bumper but also then this lovely gloss black diffuser underneath there's also two exhaust tips they are there uh, for show they don't actually uh, exhaust gas but uh, as i say they are uh, they are there for show and just really uh, make this look all that more special and a really nice little touch I like just on the top edge there of that exhaust tip you can see the latent name there on the top there but it looks absolutely fantastic uh, a few other bits which have been changed at the back of this vehicle it's been completely debadged so usually you'd have a transporter badge along the back of you that's gone uh, the rear badge has been changed for a gloss black uh, replacement and we've also got the rear tailgate spoiler as well but I really think that rear quarter I think that's probably the best rear end of a van that I've seen. I just think that looks absolutely fantastic. And there's something about the pure grey, which is the name of the colour, the way that that contrasts with the gloss black, it really does look very nice indeed. Now then, let's have a look inside the back of the van. And as we're doing that, uh, pulling up the rear door here, this brings us on to the second factory option here, and that is the reversing camera. So you can see that nicely tucked away underneath there. Opening up the back then, we can see that the enhancements have not stopped on the outside. So this vehicle has been fully insulated, carpet lined with a full suede headlining, plus some LED spotlights in replacement of the standard lights in the back. But again, not only does it feel more car-like in here, but the insulation in the back really helps to deaden down any sound, gives you a bit more heat insulation as well. But as I say, it just looks absolutely fantastic here but to talk about the van a little bit as well as i say this is the long wheelbase combi so this really does give you a fantastic load length in the back of here we sell a lot of these to people say mountain biking uh, because you can carry five people in complete comfort in the front but you can also get bikes in here straight uh, without having to take wheels off and things like that plenty of tie down points as well in the back of the vehicle and being a highline comes with a nice non-slip uh, flooring in the back as well inside the tailgate again all that has been carpet lined as well so when you shut the tailgate you haven't got to you haven't got to slam it I don't know if you picked that up on the camera but it just nicely soft closes which is really nice you haven't got to go slamming the tailgate down now the whole vehicle has been lowered on 40 millimeter uh, lowering springs uh, quite a subtle um, a subtle change but in my eyes, absolutely essential to complete this styling look. Uh, the wheels which have been added to this particular vehicle, we have got the fantastic 20 inch Momo uh, Revenge alloy wheels. Uh, of course, fully low rated with low rated tires, of course, and with the lovely, uh, what they call trapezoid, uh, sort of sport line style, should we say, uh, sidebars as well, but all done in black. So we've got uh, sort of a satin black finish to the uh, to the wheels and that is the same with the sidebars 
as well and just ties in so so nicely i'd of course usually talk to you a little bit about the condition but this vehicle is uh, effectively brand new uh, you'll see the mileage in uh, in just a second but as a not long uh, registered effectively brand new so nothing to talk about as a in terms of condition it's as new condition black roof bars as well and then if we open up the driver's door we can start to have a look inside the cab now first thing to note this vehicle has had a full leather interior fitted not only not only that but it's actually a, uh, a front uh, seat upgrade as well so it's not just a recovering of the seats the whole back here is different so we've got these higher sort of winged parts here which give you really nice shoulder support and a much deeper bolster here than on a standard transporter the result of that when you're sat in here as a driver or a passenger gives you a much more hugging supportive feeling really feels like you're in something a bit more sporty than just your standard van uh, and then uh, just a fantastic finish too with the leather with the gray stitch and the uh, lovely hexagonal uh, stitching then on the inserts vw badge in, in all the headrests and that goes for the back as well but just what an upgrade and something that i really can't convey on camera is the smell in here this has got this lovely rich leather smells it, it, it smells like you've just walked into a, a fancy handbag store or something like that just absolutely fantastic some of the spec then on the van in here so electric windows electric heated folding mirrors so you can fold those up like that just by turning the dial if you hold the lock button on the key as well you can uh, actually fold those in you've got auto activated uh, headlights just there you can see of course we've got two full remote keys with the vehicle lovely leather flat bottom uh, multi-functioning steering well, this is all comes as standard on the highline so you've got your adaptive cruise control volume controls underneath there for the stereo on the right hand side then you've got your onboard computer controls just there and then if we look at the dashboard in the middle 50 miles on this particular van so as i say in as new condition or as close as you're going to get with uh, with 50 miles recorded into the middle then again all this comes as standard on the highline you can see that this one has got uh, the lovely uh, screen here in the middle uh, and you've got app connect as standard now on the highline so you've got apple carplay you've also got android auto as well if you prefer to use that if you go into the uh, apple maps section then of course gives you the map you can use things like uh, you know your apple music you can listen to your podcasts on here or even use google maps as well if you want to if we go back onto the radio page if we go down onto band you can see that we have got dav radio on here and of course you can just connect your phone to this via bluetooth if you want to and if i put the vehicle into reverse that's where it'll show us the uh, rear uh, reversing camera as well down below then we have uh, air conditioning and then another factory extra on this van is that it has got heated seats really nice to see that so you've also got a heated windscreen just there you can toggle your start stop on or off on your parking sensors and then just down below here we've got the twin usb c's and also the 12 volt socket as i say that's where i've got my phone plugged in for the apple uh carplay if you click on the app button then it just goes back to that screen seven speed dsg automatic gearbox and like i've said it in previous videos i think that is the best automatic gearbox in any van on the market it's very very smooth uh, of course vw use it across a lot of their range other upgrades on this particular vehicle then is actually the uh, just a small thing but i think it's really nice the side indicators here these these have been uh, replaced for um uh, what they call sequential repeaters so if you've seen on uh, some sort of more modern audis and things like that when you uh, unlock it you'll get the light flickering uh, back and forth but i just think this front quarter looks absolutely stunning so we've got a full gloss black front end so all the grills on the front have been changed for gloss black so this whole upper part here has all been changed for gloss black all the inserts the badge all gloss black uh, same with all the the lower grills the number plate backing everything all done and then this brings us on to uh, again the other sort of significant bit of styling which has been changed on this van and that is again the Leighton vans lvs front splitter and i just think this is really the sweet spot i think it just enhances the front of the van so nicely again all color coded in the pure gray but then this lovely gloss black lower lip and again that nice little Leighton badge there in the front front parking sensors come as standard on the highline as well as um front fog lights and then onto another factory 
optional extra. This one has got the um, LED headlights. Massive, massive uh, upgrade on these. Uh, if anyone who's familiar with transporters and have maybe had one with the standard headlights before, they'll know they're not the best, but these LED headlights are absolutely fantastic and they come with this lovely LED daytime running light as well. But I really think the front end of that van just looks absolutely fantastic. It's just a small thing, but being able to see in through the window and see those upgraded seats, it just tells you this is not just a normal van. If we open up the side loading door then, this is a, I think the final optional extra to talk of. This one has actually got a power latch in side loading door as well, so same type of thing. Sort of a nice soft close on the side loading door. Looking then at the rear seats who, oh sorry, another optional extra actually. This is, I, I believe is the last one. Two plus the one rear seat in configuration, which again, really nice to find. It just means you can operate these seats independently. You've got a little lever on the side here, which allows you some access into the back. You can also, by pulling on this little lever just here, see if I can do that with my other hand. It allows you to fold the seat down completely flat and you can do the same with the double seat there as well. Of course, the leather upgrade is um, continued here into the back of the vehicle. Absolutely stunning, as I say. I wish I could convey the smell, but it just it smells absolutely fantastic and a yeah, really, really nice uh, smell of that fresh leather. Finally then, opening up the passenger door. See what you're working with from this side. Lovely thing as well, having the, the captain seats in the front is that, uh, as I say, you've got the same adjustability on the passenger seat that you do on the driver's seat, so you can really get in a comfortable position. So just to summarize then, uh, this is effectively a pre-registered, uh, you know, as close to brand new as you're gonna get with 50 miles recorded. Volkswagen Transporter is the T6.1, T32, so 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight, so that will keep your accountant happy if any business users are watching, because this is classed as a commercial vehicle for tax purposes, so it could be a really good opportunity uh, in that regard, uh, but it doesn't exactly look like a van, does it? It's uh, so much more luxurious than that, but at the same time, it's incredibly practical. Again, sidetrack there, it's a two litre TDI uh, diesel engine, 150 brake horsepower, seven speed DSG automatic gearbox, long wheelbase, Highline combi, fantastic latent kits, so we've got the LVR rear uh, bumper and diffuser, we've got the LVS front splitter, the Momo Revenge 20 inch alloy wheels, we've got the Sportline style uh, satin black uh, side bars, we've got the roof bars as well, full gloss black front end, black badges, debadged on the back, and also the sequential side repeaters. On the inside then, this fantastic leather upgrade with the hexagon stitching, lovely um, upgrades to the structure of the seat and also the VW uh, badges in the all headrests and then the full carpet lining with that lovely suede headlining. The suede headlining as well actually continues right the way down uh, on the A-pillar as well. So just as I say, just gives it such a more car-like luxurious feel. Absolutely stunning, finished in uh, pure grey. There's no logbook retention or anything on this particular vehicle. It is physically here available with us today to drive away if you wanted to. If you'd like to see the full advert, including the uh, photography, the description and the price, please head over to our website, bridgeendvans.co.uk. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign as well. We can arrange delivery on all of our vehicles, including this one, of course. We can arrange finance at very competitive rates and we can take cars or vans in part exchange. Thank you very much for watching.